So what is the best new tech this year for content creators? In this video, I break down my top five highlights from NAB this year, coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we're here at NAB, just wrapping up the show right now. And I wanted to just go through my five favorite things, the coolest new, the best new tech that we got our hands on this year at NAB. So let's jump into the countdown, starting with number five. So there's a lot of new cameras out right now that are shooting incredible video, but some of them don't have a screen that flips to selfie. So for YouTube and content creators, this could be a huge problem because you're all by yourself, right? You're a solo one man, one woman band. And so Small HD dropped a monitor called the Focus. That is awesome. This monitor not only lets you create better videos, it's feature packed touchscreen, but it also is great if you wanna put it on top of your camera for vlogging or for just shooting videos at home or at your office to be able to see See yourself and create some awesome content to make sure you're in focus and to make sure that the video looks great. So at $500, a monitor that's daylight viewable, that has a touch screen, that looks great and has awesome functionality, we can see why it won actually one of Video Maker's Best of NAB awards. Coming in at number four is the Tascamp Studio Mini. Now we love this little mixer, it's an audio interface that plugs into your computer and then it gives you a lot of cool things. The creator version has two inputs for mics, but it also has a full set of buttons that allow you to do sound effects, to add effects to your voice, to plug in uh, another source of audio and maybe do an interview show or something like that. And so the reason we loved this device is because with all the trends in podcasting as well as live streaming, this allows you to level up your production value, putting out audio content, much like a throwback radio show would be in the modern age on Facebook Live, on YouTube Live, something very, very cool that you may want to check out. Coming in at number three is the Grayscale Gorilla LUTs. Now what these are is they make color grading fast and simple for your videos. So we've been using these at Think Media TV for months now and they're just a great way to take your sometimes maybe drab or boring looking footage and make it look awesome. Add cinematic film looks, add different color looks and con punchy contrast. They're an incredible set of tools that comes in a great budget price. And so we did a full video about these. We'll link it up on the YouTube card as well as in the description. But these LUTs are super cool. They plug in a Final Cut, Premiere, or if you do any 3D rendering software like Cinema 4D, they work great there as well. And they are ultimately a great way to make your content stand out and give it a unique style. Coming in at number two is Sony cameras. Now, there has been a lot of fierce competition in the mirrorless and DSLR camera industry right now for who's the best and who offers the most features. And Sony has been crushing it for video. In fact, for all of NAB, we've been shooting on a Sony A6500 and we absolutely love it. It's a camera with incredible autofocus during video. It has in-body image stabilization, allowing uh, stable B-roll, even if the footage is handheld, and we've been shooting everything in 4K. And so Sony's lineup of cameras right now is just crushing it. Lots of people are shifting to Sony for creating video content, YouTube content. And then the other camera we got to get hands on with is the Sony A9. Now this is one of the hottest announcements here at NAB. The camera's coming out soon, and it's a complete game changer for photographers. It definitely is focused more on photography than video, and really sports photographers because it can do 20 frames per second. That means 20 photos in just one second doing autofocus and exposure on each and every one of those photos. It has a great form factor. We got hands on with it. And it's definitely targeting the pro market, but all of the photo examples and even video examples that we saw from it are absolutely stunning. So it's easy to see why the A9 is on a lot of people's top tech lists from NAB. But coming in at my number one top best new tech favorite from NAB is the DJI goggles. Now these are incredible goggles that are optimized to work with the DJI Mavic Pro, which myself, I'm an owner, I love the Mavic, and these goggles take it to a whole nother level. They basically allow you to have a first person view as you fly your Mavic, but not only that, 
They also allow you to even control the gimbal as you tilt and move your head so that as you're flying the gimbal, you can actually look where you want it to film. These are packed with a lot of other features. They're coming soon and they are incredible, especially if you are a Mavic lover and a fan of DJI just like I am. They also work with the other drones without that functionality and they're just cool goggles all around that you can plug really any HDMI source in and take advantage of the two 1080p screens totaling a double wide 1080 view screen that looks amazing and adds some very cool functionality, not just for creating content, but making your Mavic super fun to fly. So those are some of the highlights from NAB, including my personal favorites and best tech of NAB this year. To see the full video versions of our coverage of any one of these five, we'll link those up in the YouTube description below. Question of the day, if you were able to go to NAB, what was one of your favorite highlights and announcements? Let me know in the comments. And out of these five, which one do you think is the coolest and are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Click here to subscribe so you don't miss any of our other coverage of NAB and to see all of the videos, including a lot of the things not included in this top five list, click the playlist right here and we'll link it up in the description as well. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.